Hey everybody, this is Alan Butler again. We are launching the inaugural of our everyday adventures uh, with everyday riders doing everyday journeys and, and everyday fun things. So we're starting the series with the owner of the Helmet Center, David Steele, to kind of give us an example of what we're looking at here and the kind of stories we want to hear about. So I want to talk with you, Dave, about a cool adventure that you and some buddies took uh, from Arizona to a small town in Colorado. Uh, tell, when did this trip take place? Uh, we did it back in 2021. It was uh, me and a buddy, Randy of mine, Randy Gilmore, super nice guy. Um, we went up uh, from Phoenix. Uh, we left on a Thursday morning. It was about a 11, 12 hour drive up. Um, fit both bikes in the bed of his truck and hit the road. Uh, we were up there by Thursday night. Uh, we went to uh, Taylor Park, Colorado. There's a ton of trails up there. Now, Taylor uh, we Park, there Colorado, is that is that in the southern part of the state or is that on the other side of the mountains? Where's that? Where's Taylor Park? You really don't know? <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> I was driving. I'm like, all right, I'll say the name so they can Google it. <laughs> okay, no, that's fine. How long was the drive? I didn't know I was going to have to do geography. I, I wasn't told I was, there was a test. <laughs> How long was the drive? Uh, the drive was probably yeah, 12, 13 hours. Up. Okay, so you were probably on the other side of the Rockies, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, Taylor Park, Google it. <laughs> I was riding shotgun. I was sleeping half the time. <laughs> All right, that's cool. So tell me, when, when you what, what's Taylor Park like? What's the what's the environment like over there? Uh, so Taylor Park is a really small area. Now this is an off road ride we went on, um, and you'd see people with side by sides, dirt bike squads, things like that. It's not much of a street bike place. Um, it's basically a small little encampment where they've got a couple cabins, a small little town, um, like a, a general store and a restaurant. Um, you can rent the cabins, but you got to rent them you know, months in advance. Uh, and then you can tent up there. You can camp. Some people bring campers and fifth wheels. Um, we just drove up and uh, we rented one of the cabins. Uh, me and, uh, like I said, Randy. And um, what were you guys? Uh, what were you guys riding? Uh, I have a uh, KTM 350, and he had a uh, a uh, Husqvarna 250. So, so dirt bikes. So you guys were go? Were you romping through the woods? I'm guessing. Is this a wooded area? Oh, yeah, there's tons of trails up there, and one of the epic ones is called Timberline Trail, which is so high at elevation, it's literally above the timberline. Wow. So when you get above there, it's about 13,000 feet. It's pretty hard to ride up there because uh, the air's pretty thin, but the views are amazing, um, and uh, you can ride just days and days. So each day we rode about 50 to 60 miles a single track, got back to the cabin that night, um, and then we drove back Sunday. We left Sunday morning, so the entire adventure was about four days. Then uh, what, just just for just for the viewers, uh, what is something like this going to cost a person to get out there? You know, I, I'm guessing it's at least a few hundred bucks. Uh, did you guys share costs? Yeah. How did that work? Yeah, yeah, we shared costs. We just you know hopped in a truck together, split the gas on the way up. Um, again, it was a 10, 12 hour drive if I remember right. You know, probably two, three tanks of gas each direction for his truck, uh, and then the room up there. I want to say it was you know 130 bucks a night. So we did that two, three nights. So I mean, the entire thing I was probably 300 bucks into the weekend. You know, plus gas and some food. So, you know, but uh, it was it was nice because we could leave. Just it was a long weekend. We left Thursday. We were back Sunday night. So we only missed two days of work, and uh, you know, got some epic pictures and some amazing memories. And I think we saw Bigfoot up there. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, you're talking about the cost is uh, maybe three, four hundred bucks. Would you say? Uh, per person, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's not that's not bad. That depends on where you stay. You can actually bring a tent if you want and just tent down, and it's a lot cheaper. But yeah. you know, we're old. We wanted a cot to sleep on, so yeah. No, I understand. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but because it is busy, especially during the summertime, yeah. you do have to book that stuff in advance if you are going to make the trip. Make sure you call up there and make sure there's spots available. Yeah, absolutely. So, what would you say was the most memorable part of the trip aside from Bigfoot? Standing at the top of American Flag Hill. Um, my buddy Randy uh, has since passed away. Mm. And standing up there at the top of the hill with him and having that memory with him is something I'll never forget. Probably one of my best memories ever ride a dirt bike. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear about Randy, but it sounds like you yeah. had a, a good adventure story. Something to remember. Indeed. That's awesome. Lots of good memories. Absolutely. Lots of good memories. That's awesome. So if somebody wanted to go up to Taylor Park, for example, uh, what did you screw up that you would have done better next time? I rode too much the first day and got elevation sick. So because it's such a higher elevation, 
the first day you feel like a million bucks. The next day you wake up, you feel like you're hungover when you're not. So you definitely, the first day, take it a little easy the first day till you get acclimated to the elevation. And then if you're going to go for one big adventure ride, make it on the last day because the next day you probably won't feel very good. I understand. That's just from my personal experience. Didn't seem to bother some of the other guys, but for me, elevation sickness was probably the thing I wasn't prepared for. Yeah, no, that makes sense, man. We are pretty yeah. low here down. Something in you wouldn't the, think about. It. Yeah, something down here in the Phoenix area. I mean, you can be at, yeah. uh, you know, a thousand feet above sea level. You know, you're going to 13, yeah. 14,000 feet above sea level. Yeah. That'll make a difference. Like, for sure. Timberline Trail, if you don't know what it is, Google it. It's amazing. And it, you literally see the side of the mountain and the tree line just stops like you drew a line. And then from there up, it's just bare earth. And that's where this lot, this trail is above. It's called Timberline Trail. And I'll be honest, man, it was it was a hard trail. Uh, it's not for the everyday rider. It's not for anybody that doesn't have a dirt bike. You would not fit a dual sport or adventure bike down this trail. There were spots we had to lay the bike on the ground and drag it under trees to get to the other side of the trail. Wow. Yeah. And it took the three of us. Uh, there were three of us on that trip, uh, that run for the day. And I think it took us about eight hours to do this trail wow yeah that's an adventure but it was epic it was, yeah. it was beautiful yeah that's awesome that's awesome yep. well dave i know you're busy and, and i really appreciate you uh sharing this uh ride with our with the viewers and i, I hope that uh they'll be inspired to do something similar maybe it's not taylor park maybe it's another small town just in northern arizona i mean that's it's only yeah. you know two three hours away so uh and probably a little cheaper but yeah uh lodging in the summer you probably need to plan for that or take a tent you know camp out yeah. But uh, I appreciate you sharing with us, Dave, and uh, we'll definitely touch bases with you again to get, because I know as the owner of Helmet Center, I'm sure you've been on plenty of epic rides, and we're going to hear from you. I got you. a couple more rides we can talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm I sure. got some better Arizona, so I got, I got some more we can talk about. Awesome. Well, I appreciate your time, Dave, and I wish you the best of success and, and safe driving and safe traveling out there, and we'll talk to you again next time, buddy. Sounds good. Thank you, Alan, All right, for your thanks, time. Thanks, bud.